Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you some of the best PlayStation accessories you can get. So if you're thinking of upgrading your PlayStation setup or you wanted some gift ideas for friends and family, then hopefully the items I'll be showing you today will give you some inspiration. Details for all the items I'll be showing today are in the description below, including purchasing links. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. How about replacing the side plates and adding a bit of colour as Sony have introduced a selection of colours allowing you to replace the white ones that come with the console. It's really easy to replace. You just gently lift the top corner at the back of the console and slide off and you do this on each side. Place your new plate into position and push up until it clips into place. The new colours do give the PS5 a new vibe transforming the look of it allowing you to mix and match the plates if you like which I've done here with a starlight blue and nova pink covers which I think gives a really unique look. The centerpiece has a glossy finish, which is prone to fingerprints and dust, but I've covered that with a matte black vinyl wrap from Dbrand when I bought my black plates. It's pretty simple to stick on as it has holes for the buttons and you can pick these up quite cheaply from Amazon. If you have only one controller, how about grabbing an additional one as there's now a selection available in different colours like Midnight Black, Galactic Purple, Nova Pink, Starlight Blue and Grey Camouflage. And there's even a limited edition God of War Ragnarok controller. Plus having an additional controller is really useful. And if you wanted something more unique, there are third party designs from Colorware which allow you to fully customise your controller. But if you wanted a more advanced pro controller, Sony have released their new DualSense Edge wireless controller, which is equivalent to the Xbox Elite controller. Or as an alternative, you could go for the Scuff Reflex Pro controller where you can remap the rear paddles. It has interchangeable thumbsticks, adaptive triggers, and even onboard profiles. And when ordering from their website, you can even customize the color combination on the controller, allowing you to get a more unique style. If you have a few controllers, it's definitely worth investing in a charging dock, allowing you to charge two controllers at a time. I've got the official DualSense charging dock from Sony. It works independently from the PlayStation, so you don't have to leave your console powered on. It comes in black and white and provides a place to keep your controllers nice and tidy together with being fully charged. Now, if you want something different to display your controller, then this wooden controller stand from Geekmade Designs is awesome. It's made from solid wood, has rubber feet underneath and fits the DualSense controller really well. They also do these cool PlayStation symbols made from wood, which I love, bringing something unique to my setup and is permanently displayed on my shelf. Now onto storage. The PlayStation 5 comes with 825 gigabytes of storage, of which just 667 gigabytes is usable space. And you know this is gonna fill up really fast. You can obviously delete games to free up space and to play them again, you just have to download them. But to avoid this situation, you have two options available. The first is the cheapest and easiest option. You just get yourself an external hard disk. You can store your PS4 and PS5 games on there. Plus you can play your PS4 games directly from the drive, but you'll need to transfer your PS5 games onto the internal drive to play them. I've got the Western Digital Black P10 5 terabytes for this and it works really well. A minimum of 250 gigabytes and a maximum of 8 terabytes is supported. The second option is to install an M.2 SSD into the internal expansion bay and this is the better option to go for as it allows you to store both PS4 and PS5 games and play them off there just like the existing storage. It's pretty simple to do, just remove the cover on the right hand side. This is the bottom of the console when you have it placed horizontally, unscrew the metal plate and insert the drive into the expansion bay and screw it into place. Then place back the metal cover and attach the side plate. You can add up to four terabytes of storage. I've gone for the WD Black SM850 one terabyte and a heatsink. So price wise, it works out slightly cheaper. Onto the remote play controller from Backbone. This is an officially licensed product that hooks up to your iPhone, giving you a comfortable way to remote play. The controls feel great and even match the color scheme of the console and DualSense controller. There's even an Android version available and you're even able to connect it directly to your PC to game with it. Now, if you're gaming online or playing FPS games, then it's definitely worth getting a gaming headset. I use the Logitech G Pro gaming headset. There's two versions available, a wireless one and a wired one. The sound quality from the headset is excellent with a great microphone, which is also detachable. It's comfortable to wear for long periods and looks great. For those of you that enjoy racing games, how about a racing wheel for a more immersive feel in games like Gran Turismo 7? You have the entry level wheels from Logitech, so the G29 and the G923. They work via dual motors consisting of gears and cogs that provide 2.1 newton meters of peak torque. The higher that value is, the more feedback you'll be getting from the wheel. And this gives a great gaming experience, plus having the wheel and pedals gives a more realistic feel to any racing game than the DualSense controller would. With more accurate precision, 
and feedback as you go around corners, giving a lot of detail from bumps, curbs, and the track itself. But if you had a larger budget, you could go for a direct drive wheelbase. They all provide feedback in the same way. It's essentially a motor on which you mount your steering wheel that gives you strong, incredibly smooth, and detailed force feedback. A wheel you could go for is a Logitech G Pro wheel and Pro pedals, which gives 11 Newton meters of force feedback and provides an awesome experience in games that provide true force, which gives the in-game physics for the ultimate realism and accuracy. Or if you wanted a wheel with lots of accessory options, like a shifter or a handbrake, together with replacement wheels, go for the Fanatec GTDD Pro. You won't be disappointed, as it gives 8 Newton meters of torque and gives great feedback. The racing experience on these wheels is exceptional. What about one of these retro logo stickers that go behind the PlayStation logo on the console? You just remove the side plate and stick down on the marked area. It looks pretty cool once the plate is back on and you can pick these up quite cheaply on Etsy or eBay. And there's even a variety of different color options available. How about some tech framed art designs from Grid Studio? They make some of the coolest art deconstructed tech. I've got these framed PlayStation controllers, which look really cool, giving a clean and aesthetically cool look in my setup. So there you have it, you come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of buying accessories for a PS5. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And for those of you who've got to the end of my video, please leave a comment with the words PS5 as it's nice to see who's got to the end of my videos and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.